Federally administered tribal areas Pata is a semi-autonomous tribal region in the northwest of Pakistan spread along the Pakistan Afghan border comprised of seven agencies including Bajawar Momand Khaibar Aurangzeb Kurram North and South Waziristan It also includes tribal areas adjoining Peshawar Kohat Banu and Dera Ismail Khan districts of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Pashtun tribes predominantly populate these agencies along the 2500 km Durand line of 1893 drawn by the British between today's Pakistan and Afghanistan. Pata is one of the most underdeveloped regions in Pakistan with difficult road access and inadequate basic services including health and education facilities. The literacy rate of Pata is only 17.4% in comparison to the national average of 49%. 60% of the 3.5 million people in Pata live below the poverty line. Following the 2001 US led military intervention in Afghanistan the government of Pakistan deployed its military for the first time in Pata and launched military operations against suspected insurgents in the region As a result around 2.5 million men women and children were forced to flee their homes and take refuge in IDP camps and host communities in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province The returns process started in mid 2011 after the area was declared safe for return by the government IDPs from Fata began voluntary return and in order to settle back at home many needed assistance mainly shelter as their homes were either damaged or destroyed during military operations tens of thousands of houses schools hospitals markets and other buildings were fully or partially damaged in fata as a result of conflict and displacement The majority of Pata returnees have also lost their livelihoods. Years of displacement and hardship have made their situation more precarious. Without shelter and a source of income, they risk falling further into poverty. Lack of access and wider insecurity have made Pata one of the most challenging regions for humanitarian organizations to operate in. Through door-to-door assessments of the affected population, NRC teams also ensure that aid is delivered to displaced and returning populations. Whilst priority is given to the most vulnerable groups, including female-headed households, widows, disabled, and elderly individuals. <laughs> Community acceptance and participatory approaches are key for access to Fata. NRC teams engage community elders through social mobilization to build community trust and acceptance. NRC has highly skilled and experienced teams that ensure assistance is provided based on needs. The the manga ghat the gonde da matlab de nan che mang ta patha lagi chara de kali ke stasu chi che chi che si 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 zarurat na di. Manga ta zarurat ta kuruna de chukuruna mang ta jushi. Ya de bijlai de اوستاسو نقصان سے شے شے دے پر دے کہ تون نہ زیادہ نقصان دے تے چھی شے شے زمنگ دے کون شے شے زمنگ دے مالو شے 
خدا به زمنګه کوشش کی چې منګه تاسو ته ډونبنې ضرورت چې د ټول نه اهم دی هغه کور دی نو هغه کی چې زمنګ د ان ار سی اړخ نه سونه وس خېګړه کیږي هغه به درته کمره دا سی هغه به درته منګه جوړو ان شاء الله sustain life nrc responded swiftly with the provisions of urgently needed tents and non food item kits to returnees and idps in part as of december 2011 nrc has distributed more than 17000 nfi kits 2000 hygiene kits and 7000 relief tents among returnees and idps of bajawar moman and kurum agencies This was made possible through funding by donors such as the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the European Commission Humanitarian Aid, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee and the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency. There are immense humanitarian needs in Fata. However, uh, there has been very little media and donor attention on Fata primarily due to access and security challenges. NRC has been present in Fata since 2010 where we have delivered assistance in a principled humanitarian manner based on our context specific access strategies our experienced national staff and our local knowledge In response to urgent shelter needs in March 2011 NRC started its shelter assistance program for the affected communities of Bajawar and moman agencies of fata nrc single room permanent shelters with latrines are durably constructed on concrete foundations with block masonry walls a brick tile roof and are designed to benefit community in the long term kala ji jangur khatur maga di ji na kade okle laalu char sade ta चलोर का लमल तेर कर कला चुवा पास रालू नो जब मैं कोरोना वाला शिव बामानो बाने गोलो बाने लगे इधर लियो खपल अंप के कार शुरू हो कबिया इन आरसी वाला राल दा कमरे रात शुरू करी दी इन्शाल्लाह चत पे कोर्जी दून कहते हैं चत पे कोर्जी की न बस मंगा पगा राजू उसी गुबा पगे एनआरसीज फील्ड इंजीनियर्स So far NRC aims to construct more than 1500 permanent shelters out of which 60% have already been completed and handed over to the vulnerable families of Bajawar and Moman agencies The shelter programs in Fata are funded by the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs ECO and UNHCR تقریبا ز دو کال بعد بیرته واپس ای کرالا مو دی کور حالات تماو کده صرف زمکه پاتی شیو دا جواب نه بمباری بان لگی دنی او بیرته چرالا ما بونه دنه من دنه ایت سم نو بدا به سیب این ار سی والا رالا دلته کی لگا سروے کو والا به مالا ٹینٹ راکلو لگا ٹینٹ کے مارزی تو خپل گزارہ شروع کو سامان ما من رالا راکلو لو او یو شی چې ٹائی وغیرہ لو خی مو خیر کا کہ مخپل دا خرچ خوراک زن شروع کو لو بازه چې دلته راله ما د کور حالات ته مو کو کور حالات زما بالکل خراب و ما چې د تو کو د مال دغه زما سمج کې نه پوخ جوړه ولا شنه کچه جوړه شو بیا د ان ار سی ول ډیره مهرباني ده چې غیر له غو مل دا کور ساس کو غو زما سره تاهون وکړلو او زمون ساد د غریبانو نو را کو زما خو وسکه نه وا له مخ کې زما کور کچه و سه الحمدلله پوخ شلو او لخه په جلتې سره له جوړ کړو تقریبا لس ورځې کې دا مکمل کړلو او خپې مطمئنې ما زبې بالکل خوشاله یم او ما سره په خپل باندې مزدوري وکړله او کار خپې په تیزې را له وکړو دغه کې خپل ټیم پاس کوم as the returns are now starting in fata there is a need for donors and humanitarian communities to engage and to ensure that durable solutions are provided to those who are returning We would urge the donors and the humanitarian communities to scale up their interventions in Fata to ensure that aid is delivered to those most in need. Education was the most affected sector during the conflict in Fata. Hundreds of schools were completely or partially damaged in military operations. NRC with funding from CEDA and DEFIT is reconstructing four damaged schools. providing training to teachers and distributing teaching learning materials in 117 schools in Bajawar and Moman agencies In 
it will take years to rebuild the social and physical infrastructure damaged during the conflict in Pata. NRC will continue to assist vulnerable families of Pata and meet the urgent needs for humanitarian assistance. However, the needs are far greater than the scale of assistance provided by the government and humanitarian organizations.